You need to understand that God is wanting you to rest, which is surrendering, letting go, laying it down, giving it to him. Because what he is about to do is he is about to birth out of you the promise that he promised you. And it's exciting because, guys, that's what's so encouraging about this. I'm kind of, as well, a spiritual midwife. And so I've been helping a lot of ladies. Um, my husband's helping a lot of men with birthing out the promise of God. And it's exciting because a lot of you are getting attacked. And I feel that very strongly, that the enemy is using people. It can be pastors, unfortunately. It can be church. It can be um, family. It can be friends. It can be media. It can be videos. Anything that the enemy can do to plant a seed of doubt in your womb could cause a miscarriage. So I want you to, the Lord use this vision to show me, to really help you guys to understand why he's so adamant about you resting right now. You are about to birth out the promise that God has promised you. It is about to happen, okay? When you're about to have a baby and you're eight months pregnant, you're about in that, you know, you're at the end of the eight months, you're getting into that nine months, the towels are coming out, the hot water is coming out, right? You need a place that's restful. You need a place that's peaceful to deliver that child. You need a place that feels safe, okay? God is telling you guys, he needs you to rest. He needs you to let it go. He needs you to lay down the doubt, lay down the worry, lay down the unbelief, because all of those are tactics sent by the enemy to try to abort what God is birthing out of you. Gives you a dream or God gives you a vision or God gives you a word that he wants you to stand on. A lot of people have gotten into this, pla uh, this place where they think that works is involved in receiving what God is giving them. And that's not correct. Okay. What you're going to be given is by God. That's why so many of you have been told a word by the Lord that what I'm doing for you, no man can take credit for. What I'm about to give to you, nothing, like nobody's going to get the glory but me for. Why would he tell you that if you were involved in it? He taught me about living kingdom. When he gives you a vision, when he gives you a word, when he gives you a dream, and it's about the promise of your restored marriage. It's showing that spouse and you walking down the aisle. It's showing that spouse coming home. It's showing that prodigal child coming home. Whatever the promise is that God has given you and you are standing on that promise, what do we do to receive? We don't do anything. We receive it. When you get that dream, God, I just receive that promise. When you get that word from the Lord, I receive that word from you, Lord. But what the enemy wants is for us to get into this works mentality. Oh my gosh, God gave me a dream last night and he looks like he's restoring my marriage. I need to go back to being busy. I need to go pray. I need to go war. I need to go do this. I need to go do that. I need to go do this. I need to go do that. How is God in that? He's not. It's a tactic of the enemy to get you out of resting so you won't be ready to birth the promise that he's getting ready to deliver out of you, right? So to encourage you guys, and even for the men out there, okay, you have a birth, you have a promise that has been given to you as well. You obviously can't go through the stages. A lot of you women are going through the nausea, the, the earthly manifestations of spiritually being pregnant. You are going through what that feels like. You're feeling tired. You're feeling exhausted. You're feeling like, I just want to sit down. Why? Because you're pregnant. <laughs> you're pregnant with God's promise. And he's wanting you to sit down and he's wanting you to rest because he's preparing to birth that baby out of you. He's preparing to give you that marriage and that restoration, that promise that he's given you. But it's not through works that it's going to happen, guys. It's not through works. God is really wanting me to highlight to you that he's doing something new this season. He's shifting the perspective in people and helping them to understand that from the, when you are living kingdom, it's not based on anything you've done. It's based on who you are in Christ and you being able to step out of God's way and just let him do what he's going to do.